Hey guys, 460 style here today. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm not shooting, I'm in my house. So I've been shooting my 17 HMR ex exclusively lately because I've been finding some projectiles and they're somewhat cheaper than, you know, 44 Magnum or 460 or whatever. So I've been trying to, my trigger has been bothering me. As you can tell, if you can kind of see, I'm kind of like getting a blister from shooting so much. Uh, my skin is starting to peel. But uh, I couldn't get like a crisp um, trigger uh, release on it. Uh, I felt some creeping in there. And it's really, really simple. Um, I got a Savage 93R17. Um, pretty simple trigger. Uh, there's like real no way to explain it but I'm going to show you what I did very simple very very simple uh, not modification but I don't want to feel a spring in there anymore so this is what I did pretty simple thing what happens is here's your trigger obviously and there's a hole there well the spring comes in there uh, it's a little spring like this a little spring in there like that oh <laughs> that fell on the rug. Um, a little spring like this. So what happens, it it, it bends sideways. I'll show you the, uh, the other part of the trigger. So this is the other part of the trigger. So what happens is this goes in here. Can you see how it goes at an angle? So when you squeeze, I'm going to try not to lose a spring here. It kind of goes in at an angle. It's not straight down. So what happens when you squeeze the trigger, you're doing that. So what was happening, from factory, these holes aren't beveled. Um, I grabbed the, my Dremel. Uh, you can see the chamfer, what I did in there now. I don't know if, I, I don't know if it's going to zoom in, but uh, probably not. But I made a chamfer in there. I'm just an old school Dremel with a, some kind of a carbide uh, bit. And I went in here and I did, and I kind of did the forward motion because... As you saw, the spring is going in at that angle now. See how it's not straight up and down? So be careful when you do this, don't go straight up and down. Follow the angle. And I went forward, meaning going this way. Going up and down, trying to get in there. And I did a bevel all the way around here. Because that spring was catching on the edges of that. Um, it's still a hard trigger. But... I it just you can you can you can feel the spring through the trigger because metal to metal contact, and the spring was, um, I was getting like the edges of it. it was kind of binding on the edges of it. So, so that's what I did. Uh, again, like a carbide style uh, bit. Uh, we can see all the grooves in there, and then I just used my stone just to get the uh, the burrs out. Um, the burrs out on top. Just rubbed it here. I mean this. I've used this many times. This is not what the metal came off the stone, but and I just kind of took out all the uh, the burrs with the stone and, and just feel it. Uh, you don't have to worry about the actual contact of the trigger points on here because it's, it's pretty smooth already. I'm not worried. It was just that spring when it was compressing, um, it was catching it on the sides and you can hear it creeping it. So, so now, as I drop my piece, it's on the floor. So anyway, that's what I did. Short video. Um, hope this improved my accuracy. But maybe not my accuracy, but um, at least I know there's room for the spring to move inside there without grabbing the sides. Um, so that was my little pet peeve on my 93 R17 HMR by Savage. Uh, maybe there's a better spring kit out there or a better uh, replacement. For this i haven't really checked it that much um i don't want to spend a lot of money on this kind of gun because uh, it's basically a hunting gun it's not a competition um get your tightest group but um for the trigger i've been having now at 100 yards i think you, you've seen my videos is about a quarter inch eighth inch sometimes a half inch grooves quarter inch grooves at 100 yards uh for a hunting caliber for rabbit or varmints up to 100 yards i think that's pretty good for now uh so anyway a little video on that i hope it helps guys 
Keep it real, keep it safe, bring these little bruises to the range, show them the right way, show them how to shoot. And what's your style? 460 style.